all this probably feels familiar for you. What would you like to share today? It does feel really familiar, and I feel frustrated that the not the same, but a very similar situation that happened to me more than four years ago has now played out here in Louisville, Kentucky, when we know that gun violence is preventable and we have solutions to make a difference. What time did you drive over here today? Uh, this, this is my first time coming in, was this afternoon. This afternoon? What made you so want to come out here and be a part of this? I, I can imagine it's so dramatic. Uh, I am on the side of solving this problem and am not helpless. None of us are helpless uh, for making change. And so it was important for me to be here to see if I could learn any more about the facts of the incident, um, but to also just lend my support. There are a lot of people that have been impacted, uh, have lost loved ones, and I just want to show my concern, my care, um, because they have a really difficult path in front of them. What do you to any victims who are surviving their injuries, healing? Do you have any words of encouragement, advice, anything you'd like to say to them because you've been in their shoes a lot? Yeah, it's going to be really difficult. and. For me, what has always made um, it doable is one, to have gratitude for my survival, and to two, take action to find hope in working towards solutions that can prevent it. Now, what works for me won't work for everyone, but I have centered myself in gratitude and in action. When you, this morning when you heard the shooting, okay so many eerie similarities. What were some of the initial things that were going through your mind when you got this news? Just disbelief. I have not yet fully recovered from the shooting that happened in Nashville. Uh, my organization was very activated for change from that shooting. And not always, but usually there's a little bit of a lull between mass shootings. And I really just thought, are we sure, are we sure that that's what's happening here? And then as the, the details started to come in, um, it became really clear that that is what's happening. And really even worse for me is when the shooting is very similar to the circumstances of mine, um, it becomes more difficult for me. And so these two shootings, both mine and what happened today, are eerily similar. It seems a, a lot of the local officials, for the governor down to uh, state reps and senators, have personal connections to these victims. And sometimes action comes when you're personally touched uh, by a tragedy. Um, is there any, you don't want to say hope, but when people feel this loss, it can spur action. Are you hoping that maybe that will be something that you see as a result of this? Look, I always have hope. I witnessed with my own eyes the passage of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act and four years prior to its passage continued no after no after no from lawmakers. So I always have hope that change will come. But I think it's really important to represent this work in a bipartisan way. If we are really to see progress, we need both sides of the aisle coming together. And that's the work of Whitney Strong. So yes, I always have hope. And I am so sorry that um, our elected officials, our governor, our mayor have personal connections to one of the victims. It's just heartbreaking.